Hello and welcome to Streets of Gotham, an ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We're playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer this evening, David, he, him. I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out all my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at Brutman if you want to follow me there. And with that, uh, let's introduce our cast for this evening. I want to get started with uh, Maddie. Hello, I am Maddie. Um, I am a fellow illustrator, um, student, and general RPG fan, um, amateur Batman um, learner. I'm definitely a student of Batman. Um, and uh, my pronouns are they, them. And uh, you can find me online at Cellar Tater, um, where I sometimes post art that may or may not be Batman related, but it will be art. Um, and tonight I'm playing Ed, who uh, is in a lot of trouble. But briefly, he is a dad, he is a criminal, and he loves his family. That's all you need to know. All right, let's move on over to Marcy. Hey guys, uh, I'm Marcy, aka Experimental Madness, which is still the username you can find me most places around the internet, except for Twitter, where I still remain the resident cryptid. Uh, I'm a writer and an editor by day and by night. I play uh, this wonderful henchwoman, Jackie Ripley. Uh, she's your friendly neighborhood hit woman, uh, former former bodyguard slash <coughs> stuff uh, for Harvey Dent. Yeah, just basic. Mm -hmm. Let's go on down and over to Pooja. That's me. Hey, friends. I am Pooja. You can find me over on Twitter at Pooja and at Pujabberwocky and most other places on the internet. And uh, I like to play pretend, usually with uh, more rambunctious and annoying the character, the better. And uh, tonight I'm back as Manny, who fulfills all those requirements. Fantastic. And finally, Hopper. Hey, that's me. What's up? I'm Hopper. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and I am a general disaster artist and uh, professional arborist based out of uh, Brooklyn, New York. I'm a pro GM and um, I don't know. I do a bunch of other shit, mostly with these fuckers, but also my own shit. Um, <laughs> and tonight I am reprising my role as uh Holly Oleander, the our getaway driver, which is so fucking useful right now. They're doing fine. This is great. Everything's fine. Listen, getting away from Arkham Asylum is your ultimate goal here. Yeah, and who said you have to drive a car? You can drive like, you know, your body gives someone a piggyback ride. Still works, still counts. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, now I'm, that that's been manifested, we all want to see it. So, God damn it. <laughs> if you think for one second Manny would not jump on Ollie's back as they were getting out of Arkham, you are wrong. <laughs> I, I, I have a upsetting suspicion I will be carrying Ed out. Um, oh, what? I Ed, was look, making jokes and you had to ruin it. As long That's as right. it's not in a body bag, right? Wow. Hey, oh. way, to say, way to make it a suit. <laughs> justify well, an uh, AO. <laughs> We'll find out, <laughs> but first. Let's start with a bit of a rewind into the past. We're in that same concrete walled interview room where we saw Jackie. Uh, it's lit by this harsh fluorescent light. We have a table in the center bolted to the floor with these two uh, industrial metal chairs. In one chair is uh, an older man with glasses and a gray beard in a white coat. And in the other is Manny Quinn in black and white striped scrubs. Manny, I think you are not handcuffed. Uh, Unlike our friend Jackie, uh, 
I, I think you maybe have uh, just a, a scotch more privilege here. You, uh, <laughs> I think, tend to be a little more well behaved in Arkham. Uh, Cause you gotta be if uh, you want to see your boo, right? Exactly, exactly. So the uh, the doctor uh, flips open his notebook and leans in. Miss Manny Quinn, let's start there, why don't we? Uh, Manny Quinn. That is not your real name. No, nah, it's it's my wife's last name. We took it after we got married. Right, right. Uh, I mean, uh, the whole thing. We we don't have any other name for you on record, but uh, who's to say it's not my real name? Well, it your seems name awfully convenient. Your name could be whatever you want it to be, Puddin. Okay. So, why do you want your name to be Manique Finn? Because I love my wife and it's a fun pun. That is a good start. Why don't you want it to be whatever it was before it was that? Because, baby, life's all about redefining yourself to be who you want to be. And I want to be Manny Quinn. A bold statement. So, Miss Quinn, you... Uh, you have redefined yourself. Yes. Tell me about that. Who is Manny Quinn? Well, she is a... Well, she was a circus performer once upon a time. Uh, she, I would like to say she's working on being a good wife and, um, hopefully a good friend. And the, I mean, come on, Doc, those are all aspirational things, right? Certainly. So, uh, tell me what that looks like for you. Well, usually when I'm not in here, it involves, uh, Checking in with my friends, making sure they're not, you know, too bummed out. Like mm, some of them I know. Teaching other ones how to use the internet. Because uh, knowing how to use tech does not extend to social media. You know, just public service to your friends to make sure that they do well. Um, beating up people who are assholes and uh, having a good time. And, it's uh, really not that complicated. I'm sorry. I'm not asking for complicated. I'm asking for merely what you have to say. Uh, and what about being a good wife? I mean, that depends on the relationship. And I mean, I'm not saying Harley and I have had our issues we have uh but we're always willing to work on them and we're always willing to communicate that is very important communication is uh, the basis of any good relationship yeah ma you know i would suggest being married to a shrink that'll teach you about communication real fast mm. <laughs> interesting so you do have a very strong relationship with uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yes. We're, 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 I mean, I hate to say it, Doc, but we're not heterosexuals. So, you know, we, we talk, we you work guys on are it. lesbians? <laughs> we choose to be, we're sapphic. You know? <laughs> Not well, exclusively lesbians. Miss Queen, saying, it would certainly <laughs> it would certainly surprise me if you were, uh, given that the two of you are married. I just mean, you know what? Like, oh no, are the straights okay? That kind of thing. Like, we talk, you know. Are the straights okay, Miss Finn? No, they're really not. I mean, let me take a poll of my straight friends. Are any of them okay? No. 
So what could they learn from you and Harley's relationship, Manny? Uh, number one, tell the person that you have feelings for that you have feelings for them. Uh, I mean, Harley and I wouldn't be here if we didn't. I mean, I can hear Jackie's voice in the back of my head being like, I'm not straight, but, uh, she's real acting like a heterosexual or something. Uh, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Shots fired. Or oh should I say God. acid, acid thrown? Oh, oof. Oh, I, I think the appropriate thing, the appropriate He's phrasing. The, the, pro- <laughs> the appropriate phrasing is, ooh, burn. I hate you all. <laughs> Listen, some of us are just really used to telling therapists everything. It's fine. <laughs> so we are back to your friends. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. They have way more drama than I do usually. So I talk about them a lot. But um, I mean, I guess what questions do you have? I'm usually an open book. Well, uh Let's talk about that. Your friends, you feel uh, it is your role to uh, listen to them, to help with uh, what you believe are their numerous problems. (laughs) I mean, it's all surface level shit. They're great people. Let's get it. Let's get it straight. I'm not saying that like. I gotta help them get their lives together or anything like that. This is Gotham. Everybody's life's a mess. But, um, you know, I just help them with the, 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 the little shit. Like, it's isn't that like a love language or something? Like, acts of service? Yes, it is. Uh, of course, for most people, uh, acts of service do sort of end at... Uh, you know, the listening to problems, offering advice, uh, actually going on uh, errands, but not, and not so much what you were saying previously with Sia. Uh, what were you saying? Kicking people in the face? Was well, that the that's exact an act phrase? of service to society, right? Like, okay, there's this guy, he's a complete asshole. He like ripped off this poor girl, lied to her about his age, all this shit. Sometimes just things get punched in the face and I'm happy to do community service and do that. So, Have you ever met someone you really wanted to punch in the face, Doc? I don't believe I'm at liberty to answer that question. I'm just saying the difference between me and you is that I will do it. And, you know, I bet you would too. You would, you'd really want to, but I'd just do it. Hmm. Well, perhaps I have other methods at my disposal. Tell me. Manny, where do you think this impulse comes from for you? This uh, impulse to do acts of service. Why do you feel that that is your love language, as you say? Well, um, I don't know. Like, why, why do I show affection in the way I show affection? Uh... Because I grew, like, I, I moved around a lot, and making yourself useful is an easy way to find an in with people, to keep friends. And uh, also, sometimes it's just nice to do things for your friends when it's not a lot of work for you, but it's real hard for them. Emotional labor, Doc. Yes, yeah, certainly. So you feel that this is a way of uh, introducing stability into the world for you and for those around you as, as as much as stability can be introduced into this town sure 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 and when you do this emotional labor when you do these acts of service uh what is it you get back in return who does the acts of service for Manny Quinn? My friends. They take care of me, too. That's what friendship is. Like, once again, I'm not in any one-way relationship, whether it be platonic or romantic, where I just give, 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 and my partner does not give back. 
I have a healthy relationship with Harley. I have a healthy relationship with my friends where I take care of them and they take care of me. Not that I'm keeping score because that's kind of fucked up. Uh, I couldn't agree more. Uh, Keeping score can be incredibly damaging. Yeah. Uh, So, you seem to have what you feel is a very healthy relationship with your significant other, with your wife, with your friends, uh, with your family. But but with my chosen family, sure. My friends are my chosen family. Hmm. But your biological family, not as much. Nah, it's not that. Yeah, that's not unusual, though. No, it is not. Oh, also, don't worry about this. I talked to Harley about this a lot. Like, I've been fully therapized about it. It's fine. Uh, well, I haven't been privy to those conversations, so you will excuse sure. me for wanting to start from scratch. Oh, no, I get it, but I'm just saying that I'm in a real healthy place about that, too, so don't worry about it. But you can ask me questions, it's fine. Okay, so you feel you're in a healthy place, you are supportive and encouraging of those who matter to you in the world, you have put behind you whatever uh, issues it is you have with your family, whatever those may be. Mm -hmm. And... Yet, uh, well, Manny, uh, <laughs> you are in Arkham Asylum for committing, uh, well, according to your sheet here, quite a number of crimes. Uh, and these friends of yours uh, and your wife are all implicated as accomplices. So that is what the sheet says. Well, that says to me that there is something dysfunctional here. Uh, you uh, only believe if that you, you are believe being... the word of law, Doctor. Uh-huh. Law is not morality. I never said it was, but set me straight, well, Sam. That but I'm just saying that rap sheet's about the law, not about who I am as a person. So or what my ethics or morals are. So what then morally justifies these acts? Uh, some of them are, well, uh, quite violent. Yeah, quite antisocial, well, some would say. The worst ones on there all involve an asshole who abused my spouse. I make no apologies. Hmm. Do you feel comfortable talking about that? The Joker's a piece of shit. I wish we're dead. I imagine there are a lot of people who share that sentiment in this city. Yeah. It's just, you know, we talked about this. You want to punch somebody in the face. I do it. Uh, And that is sort of the crux of the issue here, Manny. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, just engaging in that sort of behavior merely because you have the the desire to do so, uh, well, much of what you have talked about is uh, perfectly normal, perfectly normal feelings, but... Not many people would do that. So what I want to figure out is, why do you? This impulse control is overrated. Hmm. I don't know. Who's felt better for not punching an asshole in the face? I have to assume people who are not in prison, for starters... Priorities, Doc. They differ. Very well. But you do not see this behavior as destructive. 
even though the consequences of it have been dire for you and your friends. I mean, I think it's destructive in this. I, I will admit it's destructive when it comes to collateral damage. I'm not a monster. Sometimes collateral damage is unavoidable and I do regret it. But I don't know about much more than that. Do you regret it because you have caused harm or because there have been consequences subsequently? No, I regret the harm that I caused to innocent people. The consequences are because of the law. And well, we can write a treatise about the law in Gotham and how fair that is. I wouldn't. I'll leave that to Jackie. But you see how I could construct a sort of cycle here, uh, a sort of self-reinforcing loop. You believe you are helping your friends, and yet you are encouraging them to do things which are destructive. You are encouraging your wife to do things which are destructive. And they, in turn, carry that out. You feel that you have done good, and as your support system, they turn around and... They encourage you, in turn, to do things which are destructive. You see what I'm getting at here? Yeah, you're talking about the cycle, but it's hard to talk about the cycle without talking about what brought us into it, which is ultimately Gotham. And that we all do the things we need to do to survive, Doc. Take Gotham out of the equation, maybe we'd be different people. But how do you now talk that, about the cycle and breaking the cycle without break without removing Gotham from the equation? So that is part of the feedback loop, the city. That is a very interesting perspective. Well, absolutely, the city is filled. I mean, uh, Arkham has a revolving door, Doc. If you could keep the people who got in here in here, it'd be a different conversation. But the Joker's out every two weeks, causing mayhem. And yes, we do what we need to do to survive, which may involve wanting to punch him in the face, but like, there's a lot of bigger things than me in play here. And at the end of the day, we're just trying to do just what we can do to survive. We are not the problem. We're just like, once again, it's it. Try to survive. I don't see anything wrong with that. Pooja. It is um, actually terrifying how listening to you uh, go round and round with this doctor, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. It, Manny's right. Um, I'm going to go punch my enemies in the face right now. I'm like, no problems. Th this is right. Sorry. Have uh, we considered that's because we're right? Uh, <laughs> listen, it's very funny. You know the background of the fact that I am an actual lawyer. <laughs> who has sworn to uphold the law. Do you actually swear to uphold the law as a lawyer? I, I swear to uphold the Constitution. It's the law of the land. So, I think... And I'm an officer of the court, technically. Hmm. Which just means I can bail you out. It's fine. Oh, fuck yeah. Good. I'll probably need it. And it sounds like Maddie's gonna need it in the near future. <laughs> I think that's a good cutaway point. <laughs> uh, actually kind of actually giving Manny the last word on that. Uh, the the doctor kind of nods. He, you know, is scribbling into his notebook. Uh, and Manny, we are close in on your face looking across the table and then we are seeing your face looking out across the rooftop of the Arkham Asylum I have an important main question. building. Yes. Before we cut away, have I incited this doctor to start a revolution? <laughs> Only time will tell. Okay, because I hope so. Only time will tell. All right, now it's raining, right? 
So, Manny, yeah, you're uh, you're in this light drizzle. The sky is overcast. We hear a roll of thunder off in the distance. You're standing there on the roof of the main building. Um, I want to give a little I I want to give a little re overview of yeah, okay. Arkham Island. Of why I'm doing this? <laughs> uh, because now you have a you you have a good vantage point up at the up on the top of this roof where you can kind of see the whole island from here. And I feel like uh, I feel like I didn't give the appropriate full picture of what you're seeing previously. So bear with me for a moment. So Manny to the east, uh, you're on the east wing of the main building. So this is pretty close adjacent to where you are. You see the high security facility, this octagonal concrete bunker uh, of a building. It's several stories tall, at least seven. Uh, Beyond that, we see Gotham Bay just stretching off out into the ocean, uh, you know, fading away under this overcast sky. To your west is Arkham Manor, which is a towering Gothic mansion off the main courtyard. Uh, of the asylum grounds. Uh, There's administration and central security in that building, you know. There's also the island's medical clinic off to the west, which is this squat art deco hospital building. Uh, It's got a helipad on the roof that you can see from here. And out beyond that, across the bay, you can see the skyscrapers of Gotham City proper. Directly to to the south, behind you, Uh, Behind the main building, there's this grassy lawn that slopes down to uh, some tall chimneys. This is the physical plant for Arkham Asylum, which is on the edge of the water. Uh, And adjacent to that, there's a a smaller groundskeeping and facilities building. Uh, And there are also docks back down there. Uh, And then to your north, Immediately in front of the main building is the courtyard and the main driveway. Uh, again, to the west is of this courtyard is the manor. To the east side, there's an entrance to an underground parking garage. And directly uh, in front of the building across the courtyard is the main gate of Arkham Island. It's flanked by guard towers with searchlights. And beyond it is the causeway that leads over the bay to uh, the mainland, specifically the Bristol suburbs north of Gotham City. There's some other smaller landmarks uh, and structures that are kind of scattered around the asylum grounds, uh, some gardens, greenhouses, tennis courts. Uh, There's some small staff residences, some little security stations here and there. But that is your that is the overview that you have of Arkham Asylum and Arkham Island up here on the roof of the main building. And I think your gaze is uh, kind of drawn to that high security building, that concrete bunker of a building uh, directly to your right, where, you know, your wife Harley is mm-hmm. somewhere in there. And then you hear off to the side, uh, probably some uh, a, a little noise, uh, maybe the creak of hinges of a trap door opening and all the way across on the other side of the main building on the opposite roof. Um, on top of as you are on top of the medium security wing on top of the low security wing (laughs) you see a figure emerge out into the rain they are dressed in a uh, an asylum guards uniform Uh and they begin to approach Manny what do you do I think we had waved at each other because I think we did that last time because 
we knew the plan had been for Manny and Ollie to go to the roof. So Manny's first assumption, given that the person did not come out of the door that Manny and Jackie did. So uh, Manny's like, okay, if someone's coming independently onto the roof, that has to be somebody who knows the plan. So uh, they, I think she gestured to who she assumed looked like the right size and shape for Ollie. Cool. Ollie, we're with you. You are in this guard's uniform. You've just come out onto the roof. You see uh, Manny and I think who you can assume to be Jackie, though I believe Jackie Mm -hmm. uh, is is sort of hunkered down next to one of these poles that support the security cameras that are up here on the roof. Uh, And you give him a little wave. What's your next move? uh, Ollie uh, um, kind of uh, pops the pops the lid on that uh, on the riot gear helmet and um, unbuckles the helmet and just uh, and just kind of does a very sweaty um, takeoff of this uh, helmet, revealing their face and the fact that they're still wearing sunglasses that they have. Yeah, (laughs) and we can we can see that we can see that bright green hair through the rain across the rooftops. So yeah. just to be clear, we're not are, 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 is where we are connected in any way. It's connected How by the gap roofs. Uh, so what you are dealing with is a sort of up and down gabled roof situation. So each wing of the asylum has its own roof. Uh, and there is a flat area along the top of it where each of you is sort of surrounded by this low wrought iron fence. Uh, and then the roof, the shingles slope away on all sides from that sort of thin rectangular strip at the top and go down to the gutters, uh, which I'm are very slate. nicely just uh, lined with coils of razor wire. And there's no like central part where the wings merge. So there is a central part where the wings merge. There is this uh, sort of gothic bulk of a central area, which is the main part of the main building. Uh, And Mm -hmm. in there is where you would have, you know, the main reception area Mm -hmm. uh, where you have all of the sort of common facilities. This is where you were when you were in the cafeteria, like the cafeteria is in this sort of bulk of this main section here. Uh, And this is where all of the elevators from the two low and medium security wings go down into the into the central area. So there is. So the roofs go down from there, from the wings, and then they come back up uh, in to to cover the uh, the sort of roof lines of the central part of the okay. building. So they are connected, but you do have to go up and down these uh, rather slick with rain shingles uh, on either side. And as I believe I mentioned, uh, there's quite a bit yeah. of razor wire lining of this. Yeah. You, just got, you mentioned that a couple the of times. Edges. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The reason uh, but you can, you can I just asked. see each over each other over the sort of bulk of the central yeah. building. So it doesn't make sense for Manny and Jackie to go where Ollie is because uh, we are closest to max security. If your goal is to get to max security, then that is correct. That is that is at least Manny's goal. Um Mm-hmm. But at the same time, mm, I don't know if. Yeah, I mean, I like Ollie would certainly Ollie. know that your <laughs> Ollie would certainly know that your general goal is to get Harley from the yeah, high security we, building. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we. I, it was, it was supposed to be. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think we're doing like this complicated series of like, like. Very large because we're it's dark and it's rainy, so it's like 
more like semaphore and yeah. Manny's like yeah. me down and you can like th- it's like this is a big building and the central mass I think the central mass has like maybe like a big clock tower towards the front of the building uh, and you can sort of you're you're seeing like behind and around it uh, but you can like just yeah. see over the top of the roof line before it goes up into this big clock tower in front. Uh, so Manny's gonna I, look at how. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think Ollie is gonna be like, "Do I come to you? Do I come to you?" Kind of, uh, and um, it's just gonna be like, mm. yeah, funk. Um, puts the helmet back on and starts to move. Uh, while Ollie does that, Manny is going to uh once again look at Jackie to see how Jackie's doing, because based on what happened last time, she's not leaving Jackie. Yeah, until Ollie's there, Jackie looks like someone hit her with a bus. I mean, she's mm-hmm. looked better for sure. I mean, she's looked better since she's been in here for upwards of six months to a year. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it's questionable if she is for 100% clear on what's happening uh, mm-hmm. around her. Like, she she seems like she registers that you're there, Manny, for, mm-hmm. for sure. But looks a little, a little paranoid about everything. Like she keeps looking at you, uh, looking at who you're gesturing to. She is not as confident that that could be Ollie, but you seem pretty confident that it's somebody that we should trust. So she's just following your lead just a little bit. Um, uh, but then again, if she looks at you too long, you start melting like an oil painting. So she has to keep like blinking her eyes. Uh. All right. So and then, uh, yeah, Jackie. I'll take one of what what she's having. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Jackie, what what are you seeing? You're you're kind of in a place where you're where you're kind of like you're kind of wavering between the real world and this fear hallucination. So you're on the roof in the drizzle, but then you're also where? I think. And you can tell me if if how much it's reverted or not, but I, I think a part of her is like still being like pulled back into that that courtroom. But I think keeps flashing to hospital room. Sometimes she's seeing some like two specters sort of following her in her periphery. It's uh, it's still Harvey that the fear toxin version that is blaming her for for everything, and I think. Maybe on like one side it's that, on the other side it's just Miri, um, who is also doing the same thing to her, just blaming her for everything. However, that one she might actually deserve. Um, and uh, some of those conversations might in fact have been real conversations that are just currently being replayed in versions of all of the greatest hits of Jackie's failures um, that are now just quite literally following her. She's trying to ignore them. She, I think she's be- becoming aware that they are not real, but it's not making it hurt any less. Yeah. Yeah. So as that's happening, uh, as that's happening, Ollie, you are on the other roof, uh, and it seems like your goal is to get over to your pals. What's your plan? That I think Ollie is going to uh, kind of look through, look for the best path. They're not uh, an acrobat like uh, Manny, but they've they grew up on the streets of Gotham. They know how to run. They know how to jump. They they've they've run for from their for their lives plenty of times. And I think uh, picking out a route that is least likely to involve plummeting to death or to one's death on the cold stone of Arkham's uh, walkways below or getting... What's the word I'm looking for? Not belayed, but... Um, uh, meat grindered by the razor wire. Uh-huh, I'm sure there's uh-huh. a much more uh, technical yeah. term for that. 
I believe in you, Ollie. Um, if Ed were here, he would say, haven't you ever seen Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron when Little Creek is on Spirit's back and he doesn't think they can make that jump, but they do it? I mean, if he were here, obviously he's, you know. Yeah, if only. <laughs> so if specific. Only. <laughs> it's highly specific. Oh, I forgot about that movie. Um, yeah. So would this, what, what, what would I be looking at? Unfortunately, I don't think find a ride helps me. I do have lightning reflexes, but that's really more of a out moving someone. Um, uh, is this a maneuver? This feels like a maneuver role. Yeah. If you're just trying to kind of scramble up and over the, the rooftops, uh, it's probably maneuver if you are specifically trying to do it without getting detected by anything or anyone then that's more of a prowl situation but if you're just trying to do it quickly and efficiently and not get injured probably maneuver because you're moving through space um okay uh so is uh what do I uh, so I'm I am wait I am rolling maneuver uh, yeah, I think so. Unless you would like to make an argument okay. for something else. No, absolutely not. It's the only thing I have two pips in. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, what per se might a devil's bargain look like if one were to just just checking? Oh, dear. OK, devil's bargain for this. Yikes. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, I think the devil's bargain is you just narrowly avoided Scarecrow's goons in the low security wing uh, to get up here. If you want an extra die, they will pop out onto the roof as you try to leave this particular rooftop. That feels like I have three unmarked stress, and that feels like probably causing more problems than it's solving. So I will probably not. But but the temptation you know, is high. This is up to you. But can I? Am I allowed to to query the query the gang about do we want more, do we want dramatic fight scenes on rainy roofs? I think you should go with what your heart desires. My heart says my heart says chaos. Then I think you should indulge it. We're in Arkham. Really? You're supposed to do stuff that's cathartic, wow. it's healing, chaotic. Okay. Yeah, I'll take I'll take that. I would that not too. have seen that coming. I. Remind me to tell you later about one of the most heartwarming experiences I've ever had. That was a great life choice because that is a one, a three, and a six. Okay. Uh, did you? Uh, are you telling me you took the bargain? Oh yeah, I definitely took the bargain. Okay, cool. Uh, then, in that case, um. So you you make it over these the the roofs no problem. Tell me what this looks like. So I think uh, we just see Ollie just kind of very not not free running, but just jogging across uh, whatever area is acceptable and just you know moving with uh, a certain degree of alacrity. Uh, looks very confident. Just a lot of vaulting, um, and I think we see there there's one point where it's like scuttle up a chimney and throw yourself across a slight gap and they grab onto this iron iron railing and uh, pull themselves up and the it, can I just say it starts to rain a little bit harder for dramatic sure effect. <laughs> um and it's, yeah it's, and like as that happens like maybe is it storming or is it just raining it's storming there's you know there's thunder oh, yeah. rolling so in the halls, distance hauls themselves up this uh, like this iron um, railing and we see a crack of lightning uh, illuminates the sky and we see the silhouettes of those fuckers um, illuminated by it and then it goes back to darkness um, and then we see Ollie scrambling up over and continuing on their way yeah 
Uh, That's cool. Right. So Look at me. I am the GM now. We get <laughs> good. Th- this is a game with shared narrative control. I, I don't know if I've been clear about that. Uh, <laughs> so we see we get that flash of lightning uh, and we see the uh, the door, the trap door that you came through slam open again uh, and a second flash. And we see um, I believe I said there were three uh somebody correct me on that if i'm if i'm wrong but we see three figures uh with these burlap hoods and gas masks uh emerging onto the roof uh behind you ollie as you pull yourself up and over the um what's the word i'm looking for fence as you pull yourself up and over the fence onto the same rooftop as Jackie and Manny. And I I think as you reach that, uh, if any of you happens to glance back in the direction from which Ollie came, uh, and I think Manny would be, uh, as you have been watching Ollie coming yeah. this way, you see these three figures emerge onto the roof and start uh, looking around. Uh, at least two of them are armed with uh, these submachine guns. You probably have a second before they actually catch sight of the three of you on the opposite roof. What do you do? Uh, Manny will hurriedly say, and hit the deck and grab Jackie and pull her down because she does not cross Jackie's reflexes at this very moment. No, that's fair. I, I deserve that. Um, yeah, she's, she's and then uh, yeah, follow your lead on that one. I'm cool. hoping Ollie, the, are you, the night are and you the rain suit? provide cover. Um, yeah, I Ollie, think, are you uh, following suit? So I see that happen. I think Ali um, f- like kind of glances back over their shoulder um, and we get another crack of lightning. So we get some slight illumination, another silhouette and like uh, a very cool visual effect on this riot, uh, this riot shield that's down and they're going to hit the deck as well. OK, cool. Um, so. Manny. God, I love storm fight scenes so much, you guys. I can't even describe it. Well, uh, David will have to. Like, fuck singing in the I rain. Think it's Brawl a great with idea me in the rain. I think for me to get a machine gun in my current state. I think I should. Will, oh, yeah. This is a great idea that will lead to no problems for anybody. Um, of course. But let's see if this even happens at all. Manny. Yes. It sounds like you were trying to prowl your way away from this situation uh, or at uh, least prowl sure your way in place AF from AM. this situation so let's have a prowl roll uh, okay. you okay. are okay. Okay. let me just absolutely let me double check I believe we said these were all level yes these are level one so you are at level with these guys um, yeah Roll your prowl, um, or we can talk, you know, pushing yourself. We can talk devil's I've bargains. Got, I've got three in prowl. So you're probably like good. The one thing uh, Manny can do. Yeah. Which is good because I rolled a six, a one and a one. Cool. Cool. Um, actually, you know what? Six. Let's. As you are all doing this, I do think we need to call this a teamwork action. Oh, OK. So Jackie and Ollie, give me prowl rolls as well, and then somebody is going to pay one stress for it to count for the group. I will pay that stress if you want. I've got a little wiggle room. I am Stressicus. I have five available stress. Oh, yeah, okay. I only have two I, available. I have three available, so that feels I'll smart. do it. Okay. Prowl is a five. A one! 
<laughs> okay. So who got the highest roll? Was it you, Pooja? Okay. So if you want to pay one stress, you can make that count for everybody. Okay. So cool. I have to pay it to make it count, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, bro. Um, you only have two remaining, right? Mm-hmm. So I can't pay one to give everybody a five. It has to be the highest. You can pay. You can pay one to give everybody a five. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh no, I'm sorry. Well, then- I, I'm I'm misreading my own rule. The rule is. Oh. Everyone takes one stress, and the best roll counts for everybody. Oh, okay. So you you all get hit with one. Yikes. Ouch. But not me, right? But not Ed. Not involved in this one. Well, uh, that's fine. I'm down to two <sighs> remaining. Four, baby! Don't worry, Maybe I'm one, sure right? you'll all have a chance to chill in, in just a moment. <laughs> what else could happen? in between now and then. So a lot of the things. three of you. Yes, correct. So the three of you hit the deck and you hear uh, through the rain across the, the rooftops, uh, some kind of conversation and shouting amongst these guys. Yeah, there was somebody here. I know it definitely went up here. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I don't know. I don't see them. Uh, and you can, if you look up, you see them kind of roving back and forth with their firearms. What's your next move? Closer there? Uh, quite a, quite a ways away. Okay. They are on the roof of They're the opposite the wing. So, you know, uh, several probably over 100 yards. Can Ollie pass the baton to someone? The stun baton? Uh, Ollie doesn't know Jackie's high as fuck and is just going to very quietly slide it over. Jackie grabs it and I'm going to say it feels comforting to have a weapon in her hand just a little grounding Uh, I think Manny will look at this I'm assuming if like Jackie's in the middle in this situation Manny will turn to Jackie and Ollie and say we only engage if they don't turn around right well we could get down from here I don't I guess let's I can start working on that, but I don't want to move yet. If they start heading in our direction, yeah, I can work on our exit plan. Y'all can hold work on hold them holding them off. Oh, they, but they get close oh, to the dead. Don't worry about that. They're heading in your direction for sure. Uh, but they haven't they, spotted us, right? They have not, no. Like, they, they looked okay. over. The trap door is on the, the far side of the roof, so, you know, they looked over the edge uh, of the roof, looked around down there. You, you know, you can see they, they have flashlights on these guns, right? And they're sort of sweeping them over around the edge of the roof. They've looked over there, uh, and they're kind of sweeping back along the roof okay. towards you now. All uh, right. Well, then, in that case, Manny will start looking around for something that can be used to get them off this roof and onto the next one. There's got to be like a fire escape or emergency exit ladder, right? I mean, does there have to be or would they rather let That's everybody right. There's just no burn? OSHA compliance in Gotham. What am I thinking? <laughs> We can find I mean, out with a fortune roll. I don't think that's a thing, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think that's a prison thing where they're just like, let them burn. Yeah, that's kind of, that's across the country. Uh, yeah, that's an, that's an everywhere uh, thing. Abolish the uh, prison industrial complex. The, incar- the carceral system is a sham. Well, we're working on it. Yeah. Uh, if well, somebody wants to make a fortune roll, Texas this week. you can see, uh, you can Not see me. if there's something there. I'll do it. I'm paranoid enough. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do uh, it. What am I rolling with? I think 
this is just a straight fortune roll. Uh, let's say it's with your study uh, right, because I you're looking around. <laughs> that, wait, Ollie, do you have anything in study? I have nothing. I do not. I literally. <laughs> okay, we're all rolling with inside. nothing, so right. go for it. I have no insight whatsoever. Blind luck. But I did roll <laughs> two fives. Hey. We love that. Okay. No. Two fives. One and tinker. I have one in Tinker, uh, nothing in anything else. Okay. So, uh, a five, that is a mixed success. So, I think there is a um, there is a ladder down, but it is in an inconvenient place. So, let's say it is actually back more in the direction of these guys. It is, uh, there is a ladder down the back of the main building, uh, on the off the rooftops of the central the the central area of the main building. So you would have to backtrack in the direction of these guys, but you can see uh, that there there is a ladder that does go down. I think uh, Jackie sort of nudges the both of you um, and like just tilts her head in the direction of where she sees the ladder. You can maybe just see some of the struts poking up in the middle. That's going All right. We should go. Just keep down and hustle. Yeah, we're going to army crawl. Yeah, I think we don't have a choice. This is why we work out. Yep. To break out of prison. <laughs> All right. Ollie's, uh, legitimate. Ollie's been working out for like nine months. Ed's like, Ed's like, we were supposed to be working out. <laughs> yeah. He's been getting into brawls a lot these last few months. That's the same thing, right? That's working out. Yes. <laughs> Listen, we do right. functional movement. Yeah. <laughs> all, all I can okay. think about is the, uh, the audio clip from Pitch Perfect and Rebel Wilson saying, Oh, horizontal, horizontal running. running. Yeah, horizontal <laughs> running. That, that's, that's Ed. Ed. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're definitely about to engage in some horizontal running. So this could be another teamwork action as you are all doing the same thing. Oh, boy. But I will remind you I that... I think that would, that would put Pooja... That would put Pooja into trauma automatically. It would automatically. Yeah, yeah, hey, so... Hey, hey, Pooja, could I... Could I possibly sling Manny over my shoulders and hustle you further? Are you, are you just going to throw me at the ladder? That'd be kind of funny. Might I make a suggestion? You can that, all um, do it individually. It's just if you want it to count as a teamwork action, you have to pay that stress. Uh, oh, so if I you do it individually, individually, some of you may succeed, yourselves. some of you may fail. That's uh, the risk. Is there a way I could create a distraction by throwing something to get them out of the way while Jackie kind of grabbed Manny and dived towards the ladder? Yeah, I like that. And if you want, we can resolve that as a uh, as a roll from Jackie with aid from Ollie. So in that, that case, Ollie, you would one pay you would pay one stress, mm-hmm. and Jackie gets another die. I'll do that. What's the worst that could happen? Sure, mm-hmm. sure, 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 sure. But first, what am I rolling with? Good question. Uh, you are either rolling with Prowl as you are trying to do this without attracting the attention of these guys. Okay. Uh, or you are doing it with Maneuver because you are trying to maneuver cool. yourself and your crewmates uh, Both of those along are one dice. this rooftop. Um, should I just take my luck and roll? Because I do have three on Prowl. Yeah, probably. That is up to you, actually. Yeah, I think that might be individually. Then, yeah, I think that might be best. Do that. I don't want anyone passing out. What's the uh, what's the devil's bargain on that there, David? Uh, devil's. Bargain. Devil's bargain. Well, we already got these guys up here. Two sixes and a four. Uh, I don't know. Does Wait, anybody have an idea? Success? 
for a devil's bargain, yeah, two sixes is a critical success. I, I don't have any good ideas. I was just trying to be annoying. <laughs> um, I don't also, know. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly stumped one. on this one. No, I'm going to just roll. I'm going to roll my one. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll I mean, I'll, I'll, well. I'll give you a devil's bargain <laughs> here. How about this? Uh, if you want the extra if you want the extra die, there's a gate on this ladder. <laughs> no, uh, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, all right. Uh, I don't five. know. Can my crit success help anybody? I rolled a five. OK, Jackie, uh, I think, uh, scrambles down uh, and maybe you get over there, but you attract notice. Uh, the uh, as you sort of scramble over the roof, you're going to make a little noise and you get to the ladder. But we see the light on one of the Scarecrow Goon submachine guns whip around in your direction. Uh, hey, there's some people over there. Uh, I chuck the stun baton at, at his head as we, <laughs> as we clamber down. Great. Uh, so you instinctively, you chuck, he scared the crap yeah. out of me, and also he looks like some weird rat, baby creature. Everyone looks weird to me right now. Everyone looks extremely weird to you at the moment. So, rat uh, baby creature, rat baby. <laughs> I'm yeah. going home to my rat baby creature. <laughs> Do we let this one play out? Do we cut it off? I don't know. What's the right move here? Uh, meanwhile, so Jack, you get to the ladder. You see this. You hurl the stun baton. Ollie, you haven't made it there yet, and you're the one who they see. You got it too. Uh, yeah, I did get it too. That and was they they see you sliding your way down the rooftops, and they open fire. Uh, so, baratat, you have some machine gun fire coming in your direction. You are going to take two, uh, you're going to take one box of level two harm, unless you would care to roll to resist. I think I'll go out if I try to roll to resist it. Um, um, uh, uh, um, just a thought, David. Oh, wait, I no, I have armor. I have armor. Hmm. Okay, cool. Good. So you can mark that armor. Yeah, right. You you do have that guard's um, mm -hmm. stab vest. Yes. So you can mark off a use of that armor to uh, take that down by one. So you're only going to take one box of level one harm if you mark that armor. Yeah, like slows down the... It's not intended for bullet uh, to prevent bullets from killing you, but it does slow it down enough that uh, Ollie just takes like... Uh, yeah, you're, you're like gonna a, get some grazes. Uh, yeah, like like some some like chest dings. Yeah, the mm. the the bullets sort of rip through the side of the stab vest as you are sort of sliding down the rain slick shingles of this rooftop, uh, and you get to the ladder. Uh, all three of you are at the ladder. Manny, you had a you had two sixes, a critical mm -hmm. success. So you get to have one extra effect here. Uh, and it can be anything you choose. What do you want to do? Um, well, what does the extra effect mean, though? Because this it ladder means... is getting us to the ground? Yes. So mm -hmm. this, this is one of those sort of um, enclosed, like, cage... Uh, ladders okay. that you that you see on the sides of buildings sometimes uh, and it goes all the way down from the rooftop of the asylum main building into the uh, yard area behind it um, would it be possible for them fact, to lose oh good in fact we'll say it specifically goes down into there is this sort of double fenced chain link fence enclosed corridor uh, an outside path that goes from the back of the main asylum building 
over to the high security building. And this ladder goes down directly into there. This is also topped with, with razor wire. So I think the idea is, well, you get down this ladder. Well, where where are you going to go? You go back into the building. You go into the high security building. Uh, yeah. You know, that's that's why this is where the fire escape is, because it doesn't go Joke's out to the rest of the we, grounds. We want to go into the high security. The joke is absolutely on them, but we will say that that's where this goes. So you were saying okay. for your your extra effect. Oh, here. well, that I was going to say is uh, they lose track of us. So uh, they have to go looking for us because they're not sure where we went. But I don't know. There's only two mm-hmm. options. Yeah, if you want them to lose track of you again as you go over and down the ladder, that can certainly be your effect. Unless, uh, Hopper, did you have an alternative to suggest? I also I have a say, suggestion, but go I was going to say that there's a covered walkway, so they don't know which direction we went. Mm-hmm. We get down there and they lose line of sight, like and there's that. like two or three options that we could have gone, um, and so they don't know exactly which one it is. Cool. So, uh, so over this sort of uh, this walkway in between this sort of double walled chain link fence, there is like kind of a corrugated metal roof mm-hmm. uh, that covers this walkway end to end uh, in between the high security building and the Arkham main building, and there's just sort of a little gap right where the the ladder kind of comes through the yeah. bottom. Uh, and I think the ladder actually sort of just punches through the this little hole and then kind of ends a little ways above the exterior security door. So you kind of have to drop down the last, you know, it, I mean, it's it's a it's a good drop, but that not enough to injure anybody, I don't think. Uh, cool. So uh, so Jackie. Jackie hurls this stun baton. Uh, One of the guys has to duck it and is firing as he does so. These shots go wild uh, up into the air. Uh, And when they look back, all three of you have made it down the ladder uh, and you are under this corrugated roof uh, of this uh, fairly secure walkway in between the two buildings. And let's cut to Ed. Ed. David. You are inside the main building. Uh, the main area of the main building. You are on the other side of a glass door looking into the Arkham Asylum main building's reception area. Isabel and Mila are in there with a few guards uh, and some other visitors and probably a receptionist or two and a group of heavily armed scarecrow hench people Two, uh, or rather, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how many I described. I'm sorry. I think it was uh, I think it was another group of, uh, of three several. or four. It was uh, yeah, several. I think three, four. That sounds right. It's a group of three or four. Most of them are are armed with those same submachine guns. Uh, They've got those burlap hoods. They've got the gas masks underneath. And there is one who has that big tank on their back with the sprayer nozzle that they're holding. They have just informed everyone in that room that these lucky people in the reception hall are part of the control group. And as long as they stay put, there's not going to be any trouble. As that happened, the electronic lock on this door you're looking through clicked open, and you got a message on your phone. A smiling cat face emoji. Ed, what do you do? Um, okay, so... You mentioned that, uh, if I recall correctly, you mentioned there was a staircase. Yes. Um, so you are, there are, uh, there's a staircase, essentially, if you go out of this door, it goes, it is, it is further out in the position that you are, right? But then it goes up 
to the second floor. So it's sort of this grand two uh, double staircase that sort of goes around from the top floor and curves down to the bottom floor. And the door that you are looking through is kind of in the middle of the curve of the two staircases. So you're off to a, a little more off to one side of it. Okay. Okay, so. And I should also add the reception desk is this big, heavy wooden desk that is in between these two staircases. Okay. Um. So I'm going to say Ed is thinking that Ed is thinking about the original plan um, because there are four guys with three, four guys with submachine guns, a guy with fear gas sprayer. You don't know what's in that sprayer. Oh, I'm anything. sorry. He is going to. That's right. That's right. That's I don't know if he would go that far. There's a sprayer of something sinister. Um, thank you. And he's maybe it's they've Pepsi. Said, God, maybe. Um, they've said that these people are the control group. Ed's um, recent brushes with physical violence have convinced him that, um, you know, well, convinced him, you know, reminded him of something he's always known, which is that he and his friends are stronger together. Um, he knows he got Manny out of the cell. He he assumes that whatever is going on is going on in the entire asylum because there's now people in a different part of the asylum. Um, I think that even though it kills him, Ed thinks that the best thing he can do is, oh shit, is it either to go to the bridge or to get up on the roof? Oh fuck. Um, you did establish that you were gonna meet on the roof. Yes. That is the last information that Ed has. I think. However, you know yeah. that your ultimate goal is getting over to the high security building. So. Yes. Hmm. Um. I know. This is. So even though it kills him, Ed thinks that him interfering in the situation with his wife and daughter or ex excuse me ex-wife and daughter um it's only gonna make it worse um he needs more firepower um so um first he's gonna take out his phone and he's gonna text that number um he's gonna say ex-wife and my kid are in control group in the lobby. This is the lobby, right? Yeah. Okay. In the lobby, she's just a kid. You know, she's dressed like a freaking cat. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, if you could do anything, you know, I'm headed to, I'm going to try to meet up with the rest of the crew. Um, I, I'll give you whatever I have. I'll work for you for the rest of my life. No questions asked. I'll be your man. Just if you can get them out, I will do anything. Um, and then I would like to look up. See, now I'm thinking, would he go to the roof or would he go to the high security building? Um, I guess which is faster? We're gonna Google Maps it. Um, <laughs> um, can I look? See, can I hack into the? I have this digital device. Um, I mean, I'll tell you based on your knowledge of the. Uh, you know, you've been here a bit. You have some layout of the knowledge of the facility. Um, going up to. You don't know 
how you don't know where the team is planning to go once they get yes. to the roof, right? And it is a completely separate building that is not connected to this one via a rooftop. However, you definitely know that through the patient transfer area uh, that is in the main building that connects these at ground, that is all at ground level, you know, because yeah, you and transferred I'm not Manny, through there. I'm not Jackie. I'm not limber like Ollie. Like, if I go up to the roof, it's going to be like that time I put up Christmas lights and I fractured the my, <laughs> my, my C5 disc. Um, look, all right, I'm already dressed as a prisoner. Um, I gotta, I gotta try that. Gotta go through the patient. Um, and uh, before I do that, I would like to do something a little bit risky. Could I try to catch Mila's eye without attracting the attention of? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely try. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. Cool. I I love this. I think. Oh gosh, what what are you rolling for this? Prowl, probably. Oh, you're yeah. you're trying to, to you're trying again? to be sneaky, right? Because you're a dad. Damn it. Um. Yeah. So prowl's a disadvantage. I it's mean, okay, unless yeah. you wanted to try. Uh. Uh, unless you wanted to try getting in <clears throat> touch with Isabel uh, electronically. Oh. That's, that would be, you know, that would put you in your insight wheelhouse. But if you want to contact, if you want to catch Mila's eye specifically, I think we're probably talking about Prowl. Okay, I'm going to send... Mila, uh, sorry, Izzy, um, a text message, and it's going to be a um, one of the cat emojis. I wish they had like the cat emojis emojis in the full range of the regular emojis, but it's going to be yeah, don't a, we all like mm -hmm. um, I think. I think no. You know what? Ed's gonna take a chance. He's gonna he's going to text a the black cat emoji to Izzy. Um, that's it. Um, Interesting. Okay. Uh, crossing fingers. All right. So I mean, if you're just you're and just doing a go. regular text. Right. Yeah, and then I'm going to, uh, in fact, I might even get out of view of the glass door when I send the text message. Okay. Um, I'm just going to send the text and cause I trust, I trust Izzy's mama. I trust Izzy. Uh, you know, Izzy can talk to Mila and be like, she, Izzy smart. She's the love of my life. She's the smartest person I know. She'll, she'll figure it out. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay. I do think because this is just sort of straightforward communication, we're in we're in resolve territory now, okay. based on what you're describing. Uh, I don't I don't mean to mislead you about like what the what no, the actions are. No, no, but no, no, no. I think we're either now talking about you are either attempting to sway Izzy uh, into <laughs> I, I can coming sway. to the. Uh, I have you some know, points in Sway now. Coming to the right conclusion, or you are commanding her to sit tight and wait for Black Cat related help. I think it is Sway. Like, okay. Ed is. If Ed takes a. If Ed is, Ed's never going to command. It's just. I just don't. Um. Okay. So, and I'm not down any dice, right? Uh, nope. So you are, yep, yeah, you're, you're at parity, at level parity. Um, oh, well. I don't think this counts as desperate action. Uh, you can always push yourself, take devil's bargain, or you can just roll. I already rolled. Um, I should have pushed myself, though, because that was a three and a two. Okay. Wow. Um, fuck all these dice, actually. 
Fuck all of them. I'm getting new ones. Uh, yep. So you you send this text uh, and you hear a phone in the lobby. Boop, ding with a text message. Uh, and immediately uh, one of the one of the scarecrow goons uh, is like, hey, whose phone was that? Whose phone was that? Come on. You. Right there. And Okay. Wait, can I resist? Is it is it possible to resist? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Um I uh, think you will be resisting with I think with resolve. Okay. Yeah, I think it's down down the column of your resolve. So oh shit, what am I rolling? My god, I can never remember for resist. I'm just rolling a d6. Okay. Okay. <laughs> God damn. One. Um. <laughs> okay, so you can pay six minus one, five stress oh, to avoid um, this consequence. Okay, I, I take um, a trauma. If, if you do this, you are, you are out of the proceedings oh, until the I? next downtime. Just so you're aware, Fuck. if you if you max out your stress, that does take you out. Okay, damn it. So you, um, you can, de- you can do resist. it. You can do okay. it. I, I just forgot, want you no, to be aware of the consequences. I forgot, I forgot that it ta- it just takes you out of the. Um, I for some reason I thought you like lost dice or something, but okay. Um, just out of game, I will not do that. Um, and I'll just. Okay. I'll just run, I guess. Damn okay, it. so you're choosing not to resist the consequences, uh, and you're fleeing the scene. Um, trying to go to the patient transfer area. Okay, so I think as as you go, you hear. Uh, give me a fortune roll. Oh. And this is going to be for the guards who are level one. So you're just going to roll one d six here. All right, this dice is black and purple. Gives me black cat vibes. Fucking god, three, three. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, fire so, all your dice. You are killing me. So I'm you hear, uh, you hear you. For you. You no phones. Hand it over now. Uh, and uh, you hear a guard off to the side. Hey, buddy, back off, okay? Lady can have a phone. That ain't a problem. Oh, yeah? I think it's a problem if I say it's a problem. And you hear a scuffle break out. Uh, and then a gunshot. Okay, I was already going to have to pay for therapy for Mila anyway, so <laughs> this is fine, right? And um, you hear the other people, the civilians who are who are assembled in their scream uh, as you flee the scene. Well, cool. Um, uh, yeah, um, Ed hates himself so much, so much. Failure of a father, uh, I have to go. So, um, going to the... the yeah, so let's just let's resolve that other text you sent though. Oh shit! Yeah. Give me a. I, I think this is a command roll because I, okay. I, we we you could argue me for sway if you want, but you were only pretty... argument for sway is that like I was pleading, yeah. mm-hmm. like this is my 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 kid, like she's helpless, she's dressed like a freaking cat. You know, like if if she doesn't deserve this, like this is my fault. Like okay. this is my fault that this is happening. Like I will do anything for you. Basic, like I think it's like begging. Okay. Um. I don't think this is. Uh, I don't want to my- say this is opposed. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that that feels unfair. 
Okay, so... Don't worry, I'm going to roll a two and a three anyway. <laughs> All right. So you're you're rolling your, your sway, sway straight. Uh, push yourself, take a devil's bargain. Things are already pretty bad. I am going to push myself. I do have um, two stress to spend. Okay. <laughs> yep, just can't take any more. All right, spend the stress. You're rolling three, I believe, right? Let's see yep. how it goes. You're fucking killing me. Um, that's a one, a one, and a two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yikes. I'm cursed. I was playing D&D last night. This is how I was rolling. Failed every Earned single thing. Some sage. I know, and I don't even believe in that shit. Get some crystals. Do something. God damn it! Start rolling salt? digital dice. Wash, wash your dice. Yeah. Wash your dice. Wash your dice with salt. <laughs> Make okay. a circle. Make a dice circle around the playing space. Or I sorry, decide. or a salt circle, but also a the, dice circle. My, my heart rate is literally jumping every time you roll now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I I can't. You're like I've our never... dad, and we can't help you. I know. Well, Ed, I have made a note of this development. No. Please wow. proceed. Okay. So you you make your way back from where you came. Uh, you head down this hallway, which seems so much shorter than it did on your way there. Uh, maybe that's because you're not uh, absolutely high to the gills on fear gas now. <laughs> so, you know, you make a you make a left, you make a right, you make another left and you're back at the visitation room through the security doors. It is empty, lit only by the red security lights. You uh, have the doors back to the security station uh, that then go back into the sort of main patient transfer hub between the uh, between the wings. You approach uh, you approach the door that goes back out uh, or rather back further in the other door. The one that you didn't come in. And you hear voices. And they are not pleasant. You hear shouting. You hear people screaming down this hall. You hear the sounds of a commotion. What do you do? Um, do I have to go down that hall to get, is uh, that the fastest way? It's certainly the fastest, um, <sighs> the only other way. So this, this room, right? This visitation room where you initially were has Wait, one way where are out. The guards that they were fled. in here? They, they seem to have fled the scene. Okay. And you um, notice that the door back into security is wide open. I'm going to go into security. Okay. So you move further into the security corridor here. Uh, we've been here before. Uh, Ollie was just here a little while ago with a whole group of guards. There is a... Smells like... Uh... Like, like, uh, you know, diesel, like oil. I don't, I don't know. Weird. I, Doesn't I thought you were going to say bacon. Their hair? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Um, and, uh, you know, you see this, uh, this window with the, uh, with the reinforced glass, uh, that doorway is open peek in there there's 
nobody in there, just uh, a couple of these screens filled with static. Uh, the noise is growing as you move down the corridor. It sounds like there is a full-on brawl happening, and you can see in the dim red light shadows of people tussling, uh, thrown against the wall. So in secure, this security, like, room, is there a way to turn off uh, even the emergency lights or mm. overload them? You could, Yeah, you could try to do that. Just plunge um, the whole corridor into darkness. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely try to uh, hack into the lighting system. Uh, I'm going to say because you um, you have that security backdoor for this building, uh, you will get uh, an extra D6 for that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, is this Tinker? Yeah, so you're you're tinkering with the systems here. Um, this is this is opposed level two. So you're down okay. one. Okay, so I'm back to to three. I'm gonna grab my dice roller. It's right there. We do, we do not trust these little boys anymore. Normally, normally I wouldn't care. Normally I wouldn't care. Okay, oh, that's a five, a three, and a one. Okay, five, mixed success. Cool. So, uh, what what does a uh, what does a mixed success look like? I think a mixed success uh, is the they know you're there, but they're not going to be able to see you. So you. Uh, you bring up your your phone, you do some fancy coding, uh, and you are able to, I think you overload. I like overloading the lights because I like yeah. making it, I like the idea that you're making it a little irreversible here. Um, and we, we see just in a row down the hallway, uh, these lights just like, uh, these these red emergency lights just like glow brighter and brighter and brighter and then just pop 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 down the length of the hall uh, and as they get to the end as that that last light uh, is about to go out and completely plunge this hall into darkness you see a guard. Uh, throw another guard like over their shoulder across the hall and slam them into a wall uh, and they turn to face you. You see the guard who got slammed against the wall like no, no, no. about to recover uh, and just like uh, like hands out like claws leap at leap back at this other guard as they make eye contact with you at the other end of the hall uh, and then shoop, everything is plunged into absolute darkness you hear one of those two guard you hear you hear one of the guards scream and then shout hey there's somebody over here and it just gets strangled off um what do you do? Ed is going to sprint down the hallway doing his absolute um, just best and craziest Joker laugh. Wild. Um, <laughs> Absolutely wild. Uh. Uh, I can try to do one, Maddie, but... is there any chance in the world... Is there any chance in the world that we could hear what that might sound like? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it gated out a little bit there, but the face. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sorry to my family. I don't know if anybody actually heard that. Of Zoom, but, we heard um, the first bit, and then, but we saw the your face, which honestly was like uh, I think carried carried quite a statement. Good, uh, you know, some of it came through. Um, so, Ed, yeah, you barrel into this scrum of of guards who have just gone berserk on each other. Uh, they they have lost their minds. They are tumbled in a uh, apparently they've a, a fight where they have apparently forgotten that they are armed in their desperation uh, and are just going at it hand to hand in in almost animalistic fashion. And you barrel down this darkened hallway, laughing at the top of your lungs. You can either give me a maneuver roll to maneuver (sighs) through this crowd, a skirmish roll to just power your way through, or a command roll. To, uh, by sheer force of will and the terror that your laugh invokes, command these guards to step aside and let you through. Um, what do you want to do? statistically, uh, it does not matter, but I, I believe in Dice Christ. Um, so I'm gonna go with the most reasonable thing, which is Ed's got some bulk. Um, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna do skirmish. We're just gonna go. Great, just power on through. <laughs> All okay. right. So I've have, I've have no points, so that is disadvantage, correct? Uh, it's disadvantage, and I think this is a little desperate. So you would be you would be down one regardless. Yeehaw! All right, she's gonna be chewing on the, uh, uh, chewing on her desk very soon. <laughs> Two and a four. Okay, four is a mixed success. No disadvantage, so it's a two. Oh yes, I'm sorry. It's okay. Two. I should have just. I'm sorry. I'm just. Yeah. I'm. I'm just a. I can't do it. I. I have to abide by the rules. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, Ed, uh, I think you're going down in the scrum. Um, you, uh, you charge into this mat into this mass in the dark of. Uh, of just tumbling bodies and clawing hands and uh, and kicking boots. Uh, you you were sure that you get bitten by somebody. Oh, These people God. are screaming and raving, and uh, that is going to be uh, one box of level two harm. I took some harm, didn't I? Level two? Yeah, I thought I did, because I got tased. Ed is a puny. Um. Oh my god. I, yeah, yeah you, you should already have some harm on you. Um, Why is our softest boy which getting means, harm? Which means I should have been removing dice. God, I'm a cheater. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You only remove <laughs> dice if you fill up. You fill up the box. Yes. Just okay. have one box. It's you're still fine. If oh, okay. You fill up one block. Now one you're removing dice. dice. Now I'm removing dice. Why okay. is our soft Pillsbury Doughboy dad I'm charging through a corridor of deranged prison guards? That's a great question. Stop um, letting us influence you. Stop it. Stop it right now. Oh, that's my C five. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, Ed, we've punished you enough. 
<laughs> you, you, I think, crawl your way out. Oh my god, the uh, parallels <laughs> of this this scrum uh, of fighting guards, uh, battered, bruised, probably bloody, uh, and you are just able to drag yourself through the door at the other end of this hallway and out into the central uh, corridor of I the cough up. asylum's I cough. common area. I cough up some blood anime style. Yeah. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you say to no one? To whom? Yeah. Exactly. Who are you talking to? Ed's not doing so hot. Um, probably a little concussed. Yeah, Ed, you are in a... Uh, uh, you are in... Um, oh, actually, I guess you're, you're aiming... You are aiming specifically for... you don't head out into the central corridor because you have to go through patient transfer to get to where everybody else is. Uh, So I think that is when we cut to everybody else's view. Uh, Everybody else, the big, heavy security doors uh, that lead back into the asylum main building have uh, a couple of small, let's say they're diamond shaped windows uh, that have, uh, you know, the security glass filaments running through them. And you have all just descended the ladder. You dropped that those last couple of feet. Uh, you can hear the guys on the roof up above kind of casting around for you, trying to figure out where you went. And a bloody hand slams against the glass window of one of these doors. Uh, and the Ice door... Cream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also scream when I hear <laughs> Jackie scream. <laughs> Ollie. Like, I, I think Ollie is like lunging towards, uh, is like lunging to, have we, we have really haven't had time to talk. Ollie's lunging towards Jackie, trying to cover, trying to cover her mouth. Um, and, but also is twi- doing like a, Wait a minute. That that was a familiar what sound. What did you just say? <laughs> what? Ollie. Ollie. I, I think that that that's our that's our dad. Go get him. Ah. Oh. Oh. Come on, Jackie. Yeah. Let's go this way. Come on. Are I you think, still covering my mouth? Yeah. Why well, was it? Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm pulling you. Started and then uh, letting go. And uh, um, the door, is it open or shut or locked? Uh, it is... I think it has. I think it has to be locked, right? Does, does the key there, card there's no there's no way it wouldn't be locked. That. You have a, you have a key card though. Yeah, yeah. Your key card will certainly work. Yes, I hell think yeah. You and I both have key cards. Yep. Yes. I no longer. I currently have a key card, the stab vest, which has been used up, um, but I'm keeping on for disguise purposes and a spork. I have a key card, a uh, shiv, and three stun batons, which I think by now I have passed out to one to Manny and one to Ollie at this point. Yeah, Ollie's and got the taser. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. <laughs> I have I have an apple <laughs> and a hairpin <laughs> and a stun <laughs> baton. <laughs> Guys, we <laughs> got this. Um, we have sure the do, most do, well-armed do, breakout do, you have ever heard of. Do, 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 um, do, do, I'm pretty sure Jackie do, 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 thinks you are a partially hallucination, do, 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 Ed, until everyone else starts reacting to you, and then she calms down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Ollie, Ollie taps the card to open the door and, like, uh, opens the door. Did we just see it? Ed, Ed? collapses into their arms. Oh, like, fuck. Just, um... Like laughing, still like kind of keeping up the the Joker laughter, but like also starting to cry. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! I'm so glad. 
Oh, my wife. Oh, my God. Izzy and my kid, they're in the lobby. Okay, this is how I know I'm not freaking out, right? I'm so hurt. <laughs> yes. God. Yes. That's happening. I uh, thought uh, I was going to die. Uh, Does anybody have any wine? <laughs> no, you but get out of this and you can have as much wine as you want. We we got to go. We got to go, Ed. Can you move? Can you keep moving? I, I, I can move. I can move. I, I got this. All right. All right. Let's go. Jackie's going to like get up under you, Ed, and sling, uh, have you sling an arm around her shoulders. Um, is there, could I, does gear work like this? Um, could I mark gear to like remove a box of harm? Does that work? Yeah. Like if I, it doesn't yeah, we work would like need that. to find a first aid kit. Okay. And we're not doing that in the Arkham, the, in this Arkham section. Okay. Yeah. Just if, right, if you, if you had a first aid kit, you could, uh, then use it to, uh, to make an operate roll to well, okay. reduce harm. If, we're, we are about to try to go into a building, so if there's, like, you know, a, a general first aid kit on the wall like they do have in offices, we can just go grab you a bunch of band-aids. I don't know. So all, Jackie has all... Uh, Jackie has Ed, Manny, and Ollie. Uh, we're all armed now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you probably need to take the front, Ollie, because... Yeah, uh, oh, I'll, I'll, you start saying that, and Ollie's already jogging towards the max. Oh, yeah. Manny's yeah, Ma- 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 jogging as we're talking. Oh, um, yeah. Um, bring up the rear with uh, with Ed. Jackie got the face. shit beat out of me. Jackie. Oh, yeah, I can, I can, I can I see got that, the Ed. shit beat out of me. You gotta teach me some self-defense, Jackie. I should have <laughs> been working out. I should have been working out. You, you know what, Ed? I, I swear to God, if we ever get out of here, I'll do, I'll, I will teach you whatever it is you want to okay. know. I was running down a hallway and it went on forever and Did ever it? and and ever. <laughs> yeah, and, I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you, Ed. Um, you y- you look like um, I, I'm not I'm not actually gonna tell you what you look like to me because I'm not actually sure anything. Is it bad? Do I look? No, no, I don't know. I don't know how bad is it, it is. Bad? I don't want to look at you. I just want to get out of here. Like oh, she's okay. she actually sees you as like mirror splinters. Like oh. every cut that you have looks like it's like literally separating you into like unconnected bits. Very comic book. Um, and and so she's just keeping her eyes ahead down the hallway, which doesn't look much better. Manny's still melting into an oil painting. Ollie, <sighs> you are like turning into almost swamp thing in her vision. Like she, uh-huh. just, I love she I love she, where our true forms, baby. She like knows <laughs> that none of that is real, but it doesn't help. At all in this situation. Right. It's okay, Jackie. It's Manny's just okay. a walking vaporwave painting, let's be real. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is a good spot to leave it because you have just enough breathing room now for some downtime. Oh, so oh we will. Oh, oh. We will. We will pause or we pull out. Uh, on the four of you booking it uh, down this enclosed chain link corridor, this walkway in between the Arkham main building and the high security building, bloodied, afraid, but together. Again. Uh, and to answer... The uh, doctor's question from the very beginning of the episode. Uh, Her friends being with her right now, coming to get Harley and voluntarily going out of max security prison. That's why she does this. Manny. Manny. I have. uh, Yeah. Manny, I got the shit. I got the shit beat out of me. I told Jackie. I don't know if you heard. (laughs) I think everyone in the prison it's gonna hear you at this right <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's okay buddy we'll kick their ass back it'll be good it'll be right okay don't worry about it and that's our cut <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, Lord. <laughs> my heart rate <laughs> edward oh, or i don't know if edward ed is short for edward but ed why is it every single episode you just somehow come out getting your ass whopped um, every time. I think every fucking time. 
the dice I were think... not cooperating. The dice were not cooperating you know, tonight. I know, but we have multiple arcs behind us. That's yeah, that's true. Yeah. The dice, I, 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 I truly believe that the dice tell their story, and Ed is like really like, you know, if you have a dad that works in tech, like he's just a guy. Just a guy. He's just a guy. Just a guy. With your just three guy. extraordinary children. That's it's just true. a guy. The gods He's give get their the most shit beat out of them. The gods give their most shit beating out of battles to their no. goofiest no dad no bod. But what one, one day I imagine Ed introducing us as his kids and being like, they got it from their mom. <laughs> 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 Well, oh thank you, God. everybody. Uh, thank you to, uh, to to the cast. Thank you to everybody in the chat. Again, thank you all for joining us on Manipot Studios for Streets of Gotham tonight. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we will typically be running with new live episodes every other Monday, but we are coming right back at you next week. So tune in next Monday for hopefully a full session uh, as we continue our escape from Arkham Asylum. And mm -hmm. we will uh, also, uh, once we are back to our every other week schedule, have our reruns with live chat up as well. And you can always go over to youtube.com slash Manapot Studios to watch uh, our past games. Uh, everything from Streets of Gotham through our last week's mini episode is up so far. So be sure to go over, check that out. Uh, if you didn't catch the first half of this one, uh, if you were watching the first half, but you're not watching now, which means you wouldn't be listening, go to YouTube <laughs> for that. Also, uh, and you can also watch the whole original Escape from Arkham series uh, on Manapot, uh, Manapot's YouTube channel. So go check that out. Once again, I have been David. Uh, I can be found at dbb-8.itch.io, where you can check out my tabletop RPGs, including In the Dark, the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing this evening. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at dbrunellbrutman. And that's it for me, so let's hear from the cast. Uh, we'll do it in reverse order from the top. Hopefully I remember that order. Let's start with Hopper. Fuck, that's me. Um, I was emotionally unprepared for that. Hey, what's up? Still me, still Hopper. Sorry about that. It is a terminal condition. Um, and uh, I have been, tonight I have been playing uh, Ollie Alhander. Um, and uh, this is fine. This is totally fine. This is great. We're, I'm, I haven't been having a tiny panic attack for 20 minutes. Um, and uh, if you'd like more of my bullshit, uh, specifically, if you want me specific, you can follow me at The Legend Tree on most social media platforms that aren't Facebook um, or the Twitch channel that I just dropped in the chat. And I am also found here around uh, Manapot Studios like probably too much. But um, look, there's so many awesome people on this channel doing so many amazing things. Like you really need somebody to foil that. And that's why I'm here. Um, but uh, yeah, you can catch us on Hole in the World uh, at me along with Marcy, uh, which is an Invisible Sun actual play, which is... Um, I, our schedule is a little bit weird this month, uh, um, but we are we are going to be uh, alive this Sunday at 4.30 p.m. EST. I'm just looking at you for cues to tell me I'm saying it right. I'm doing a good job, guys. I'm doing a good job. And um, I will pass the pass the baton on to somebody else so I can stop talking. Thanks. Bye. All right. Let's hear from Pooja. Hello, everybody. I am still Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja and at Pujabaraki everywhere else, including on Twitch. And uh, you can find me right here on this very channel tomorrow playing uh, some cool Star Trek stuff with uh, Marcy. Uh, David's off tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm not in this one. 
Yeah, but I think David I will, Davis. I will be back for more Trek. Believe there you me. There will be more trekking. Uh, all month, all Trek. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so that's guaranteed to be a good time because when I don't know what I'm doing, I just cause problems. Uh, then on Wednesday, you can find me over on Nat One Fun, where we will be resuming. Well, no, actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, the on week off week is really confusing. I think we were supposed to be on during Gen Con, whatever. Uh, but if not, not if not this Wednesday, next Wednesday, I'll be on that one. Fun playing Running Feywild, a D and D five E campaign set in the Feywild. And then uh, on Saturday, you can find me over on uh, Total Party Kiss, where I will be playing in Strange Hunkers, a original all queer horror campaign set in a homebrew world it is brilliant it is dark it is oh it is so much drama i have so much fun um but my streaming schedule can be found over in my twitter bio and uh yes i will be basically here and on flights of fandom on and off the whole month so definitely come hang out and yell at me in the chat Awesome. Marcy. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm Marcy. Yes, uh, Coltrake, my heart rate has gone down to normal. I tend to get nervous when my friends are in danger. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for sticking with us through tech stuff. We're doing this uh, for all of y'all and for just our sheer crazy love for this game and all of these characters, and it is fantastic. Um, Everyone sort of covered everything. Tomorrow we're going to be carrying on Flights of Fandom with our Star Trek series, uh, Flight of Zephyr. Stay tuned for that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we had our first episode, which you can find on the VOD last week. It was crazy good times. Uh, catch up while you're waiting for the next episode to drop tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we're doing a special one shot for a Hole in the World, our Invisible Sun stream this Sunday before we resume our hiatus, which should be finishing up in October, I believe is the current schedule. Um, and hey, you know what? That show got nominated for the New Jersey Web Fest inaugural category for live play streams. So we're kind of awesome. It's not a big deal, but we're a little awesome and you should check us out. Um, and I think that's going to be it for me right now. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be back again next week. Let's see All how right. high my heart rate can go then. <laughs> Maddie, bring us home. Uh, I am Maddie. I'm relinquishing Ed into the ether um, along with his cursed dice because I'm not cursed. He's cursed. I'm, my dice aren't cursed. Um, you can um, find me online at Cellar Tater. Uh, you know, absolutely follow these uh, beautiful people and uh, their role playing endeavors. Um, I will be back. Um, same bat time, same bat place. I'm going to steal David's line. But um, if you want to see more of me, definitely follow me on Instagram because I post art and reels and i'm trying to figure out the algorithm and it sucks so any support there definitely helps um and yeah thank you all for sticking with us and this was awesome all right then that'll do it for us on streets of gotham we will see you next time good night <laughs>